starts with an H and rhymes with pull. A hole, right? How do you know it's giving you a hole? Well, what is this equation? x squared minus 3x plus 1. Do we kind of have a general understanding of what that looks like? Just a general. We know that x squared, so it's quadratic, and we know that a is, the a is positive. So this graph looks something like this. I mean, who knows? It could be up, whatever, down, like left, right. It looks something like that, correct? But it cannot equal 1. So at 1, it equals 7. So that means at 1, we have a hole. And then at 7, we have this nice little evat plotted value. So if I'm asking just to find what is the value of the function at 1, well, you can't plug 1 into that equation because you're trying to find what the value is. And the value is not there, but the value is that dot, right? So when x equals 1, oh, I'm sorry. Crap. That was supposed to be 2. Um, oh, this is supposed to be 1. What did I mess that? I don't know why I did that. OK. g of 1, if we don't want to evaluate for 1, it's just going to, well, when x equals 1, it's 7. Boom, that was easy. Now, if we're looking for what is the value approaching, the graph isn't approaching 7. Would you guys agree? As we're getting closer and closer to 1, we're approaching the y value of this graph. Correct? So that means what we've got to do is plug, find the y value of this graph. So we can apply just direct substitution. It's not the value. It's not defined for the graph, but it's the, but it's the point that we're approaching. So we'd have 1 squared minus 3 times 1. So that's negative 2 plus 1 equals negative 1. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I kind of chose a pretty good graph. I mean, that's because I've done the same problem four times. OK? And then last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, if I just wanted to make your life